Welcome to my humble abode. Good morning. That note sounded good today. Good morning, guys. It is actually the morning today when I'm telling you guys good morning. It is 7.29 and I am in the car because we are about to take a road trip. We are going to DC, Washington, DC, because we need to go check out my apartment. We wanted to go down today because I want to be able to like see it in person because I've never seen it in person before and I want to be able to see it. I want to be able to get the vibe of the layout since it's a studio and potentially like get some things and bring some things down just so that in August when I'm moving move in for college college I'm prepared I'm more ready and there's less chaos so we will be embarking on a six hour car drive but for you guys it'll be probably a millisecond I'll see you guys when we get down to DC and for an empty apartment tour Can't spoil it for the empty apartment tour. Ooh, I look crazy. Welcome to my apartment! Alrighty guys, I feel like I kind of just like jumped into this second part and I didn't really explain much but we got here like an hour or so ago and we've kind of been like figuring out issues with don't mind my hair let me put my head up let me put my head up so we've kind of been figuring out stuff with the key and we finally got it and we finally got in the room and i'm so excited to give you guys the official empty apartment tour so to preface this is a studio so this isn't like a major mtv welcome to my crib because uh it's a studio so it's like 400 square foot walk in Here's my little door. And then I have this little nook space. I'm probably gonna put like a, a little shoe rack right there to put all my shoes and stuff like that since I'm not doing my shoe box stack anymore. And then you walk in, here are the floors. And this is kind of like the view that you get when you walk in. You kind of get like a preview of my windows, but we'll get to that when we get to the living space. When you come here, here is my closet area. We're gonna have to like figure out how to make this extremely conducive because there's not that much space to put a lot of storage. I'm gonna have to try to get as much different cubbies and storage stuff to maybe like put like a dresser in here or something like that. I can hang my hangers on here and all that stuff. I can put extra stuff up there like if I have clothes that I don't wear as much okay we're moving in closer now in here is the bathroom I did not expect the bathroom to actually be this bright I was a little worried that it was gonna be dark because of like the beige walls and like the grayish countertops and like all that stuff but it's actually pretty bright with these lights and this mirror is freaking huge. Like I do not need, I don't need a second mirror in here like I normally do for my bathroom at home. This is my little sink, my toilet, my tub. Love the shower. I love like the white background because now we're imagining. Now we can actually imagine because imagination will actually be coming true because this will be the setting of my next video. So imagine the skincare routines, the morning routines, waking up, I shower, I get out, I'm washing my face, brushing my teeth, doing all that jazz. This is a space and I'm vibing with it because it's nice and bright. I mean, I need to see how everything looks in the dark, but like just for right now, and it's like one o'clock, I'm vibing with this lighting. And okay, so that is my bathroom. And as you can see, like pretty quaint small space, but I'm completely fine with that. So bathroom there, right here is my washer dryer. So we open this up. Here is where I will be doing my laundry. Now we are moving into basically the space, the living space where I'll be living, sleeping, lounging, cooking, and eating all in this little box right here. So don't mind all the like cleaning supplies that we've already like put down, but this is my little studio. And then this is my kitchen with the gray countertops, the dark backsplash. Here's my cabinets. I have a lot of kitchen cabinet space and I probably won't be using it all for kitchen cabinet stuff. 
because I just don't cook that much. So I'll probably be using it for like other storage stuff. But I have one cabinet there. I have another cabinet here with so many shelves. I'm gonna need to get a stool to like reach all that. This is my little electric stove. I've never had an electric stove. So uh, this is a new one for me. I gotta figure out how to work this. And then I have all of these drawers down here. All of these drawers and then this is my dishwasher and then my mom was thinking that I could put like trash can in there all that stuff to save space this is my microwave which will be getting a lot of use with Trader Joe's meals because that's my life but basically that's kind of the space because the rest of everything is just like this little box it's kind of like free-for-all like kind of do as you please I kind of like that I kind of like that the layout of this is like a free-for-all because then I can like kind of just decide how I want to completely make my area so I'm thinking my thought process was like possibly bed in this corner and then possibly like a desk next to my bed right here and then possibly like TV couch like this and then like couch back here to like divide the kitchen and then like kitchen table somewhere <laughs> I don't know but I don't know we gotta figure out how to make it practical but I feel like that might be the most practical one because I can't really think of any other way that it'll be more practical unless it's like couch facing this way, like facing the window, and then desk behind the couch, and then bed. But then the TV will be against the window. So I think I like my original plot better. So I think we'll go with that one. What are your guys' thoughts? What are your opinions on how I should set this space up? I hope you can kind of get the vibe. I think you can kind of get the vibe. It's a little hard to tell the size of it through a screen, but it's pretty small. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Keep that in your thoughts. So now, are we going to eat or are we going to get stuff? I need to do some measurements. So now my mom is gonna do some measurements and then we have to eat, we have to go to Target, Ikea, mattress place, because we are sleeping in here tonight because we have the running water, all that stuff. So we are gonna sleep in here tonight. We're gonna rug it out, we're gonna camp it out. So we need to get like mattresses and stuff like that. And I'm gonna try to get my bed today, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> what, what, what's this way? This is boring. That, that's the that's that's point that of the bed. Oh, from here to there. This is my bed size. Oh, we didn't mop the floor. I know. We gotta, we gotta, I'm gonna do it. Oh, we gotta pull this up. We're gonna pull it this up. is my bed size. Yeah, it's alright. It's right. good. Yeah, that's a twin. This is good. tape so that when we go to Ikea we kind of have an idea of what we're looking for so basically this is my bed supposedly hypothetically imagine bed right here so then for this square we have two hypotheticals of where I could put my desk I could either put it up against my bed like this and have it like jutting out a little bit and then my chair would be like that or I could put my desk right here like up against the window that way when I'm doing my makeup and stuff like that the lighting you know like shines on me that way and then right here is like the space for my couch and then that is my dresser and then I'm gonna put like my TV and stuff on the dresser so I have like this open space and that open space and then right here we kind of like marked off for my round dining table type vibe but I'll probably like move that a little bit more over here because my microwave's right here so it's just a little bit close quarters but that's basically the layout that we have so now i feel a little bit better i feel like i have a better idea of like the size of everything and like how i can put stuff in so we're gonna go get some food now and then go to ikea because it's our bread day 142 so we need to get going because we're only here for literally one night i got a tuna melt i was originally gonna get like a meatball sub vibe but then the guy was like no tuna melt so i was like okay tuna out. I think my dad got a buffalo chicken sandwich. My mom got oh oh bacon and goat cheese on a croissant. That sounds good. With eggs. With egg. Oh, and then I got this chai, but it was like I don't think it's like a chai latte. I think it's it's really weird. It's 
It seemed like he just put mostly milk. It tastes and then, good. I mean, mm, it didn't taste like a chai latte. Mm. It tastes very milky. Yeah, I'm excited to eat because I need some energy. I'm like slowly fading. Because I also went to bed at like 3 a.m. I was like, 3 a.m. And I expected the drive to be like six, seven hours long, but we got here in like three and a half, like yeah. something like that. So it wasn't ample time for me to fully rejuvenate my sleep. So I need as much energy as I can get. Got the soon amount. Oh, oh, this looks like crack. It's, they yeah. loaded this up. Pickle onions? Is that what yeah, is? they loaded this up. Oh my God, this is so big. <laughs> I think I forgot now. Mm-hmm. Mmm, this is a good tuna milk. And sometimes the tuna milk can be a miss because they just don't put enough stuff in it, but this this what one is, is a hit. I hope it's toasted, right? Mm-hmm. about the hard ones. I don't think I'm a hard bed type of gal. Ooh, this feels nice. I like the plush. Oh, there. There it is in a teen bed. Oh, the height? Doesn't the height feel different? It's the same, but I think you can decide where you want The headboard goes up. Oh, yeah, because it's different. When you assemble, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understood, I understood. When you assemble, yeah. But I still think, like, maybe the other way was better because then you do get that partition but i mean i don't know we'll see it when we assemble it cause because yours is gonna it's still pretty good there i mean i don't know if your, i put your mattress is gonna it. be thicker than this it's because this is just a i wonder yeah. if you're allowed to get the thicker mattress yeah she should be right I feel like i'm in college I feel like i'm in my dorm chilling in my bed with my covers put some drugs in there and be like <laughs> I still look really crazy. I apologize for this atrocious hair today, but we just got done with the showroom. So I think I basically found everything except for my desk. And now we're gonna go down to the marketplace and like see if we can get the stuff and if the boxes will be able to fit in the car. I think I saw some plates that I liked. So I might do plates today, but I'm not too sure. I do need hangers, but that's, that's more of an August thing because I don't have any clothes in right now. Oh, I found pots with the 99 cents for that I like. How much are they charging for pots here? No, because they take up, say, $14.99 for Oh, yeah, no, I found, I found five. Oh, for five? So what is this, one, two? What's yeah, that? one, two, two three, three, four. Oh, so now must be $29. Here, get in the bed. We are currently standing in line, waiting to check out. Right now, we're just gonna get the bed right there. There was no more twin mattresses left, so I don't have a mattress, but we're just gonna get the bed and put that together. I got four of these plates because I liked the way that it like dips for like, I don't know, when I have like salad dressing and stuff like that, I hate when it like falls out of my plate. And then I got two clear bowls for salads also. So really the only main productive thing that we got was the bed. We didn't even look at the size of the box of the dresser. You we can find it. No, okay, no, but what, like you said, let's, we can let's, I'll let's, pull the let's, car let's, in. Let's yeah. Figure it then out. we'll see. You can always come back. So basically the main issue is that, you know, our car is average sized and it's not like a truck. So we're just trying to figure out how we're going to fit like stuff in the car to drive it back to the apartment. So we're just trying to see if like we could fit the bed and then see if we could fit anything else and then possibly come back and fit that in again but if not then we'll just get the bed today and then i'll sleep on a blow-up mattress to fit so we decided to go ahead 
this could fit too because it's just like only one long piece. Now I feel like a little bit more productive because we've gotten two big things. And it was the last one. And it was, oh yeah, and it was also the last dresser that they had there. They were like really low on a lot of stuff. So they were completely out of the desk and all of that. But we got the last dresser so that I feel like that was a sign. I feel like that was the universe being like, you need this dresser. I feel like I've just been hopping around a little bit, but we left Ikea and we went back to the apartment to drop off all the big stuff and empty out the car. And now we're in Bed Bath & Beyond because we're looking for a blow up mattress because the mattress place is closed. So we can't get a mattress to sleep on tonight. So we're just gonna get a blow up one and do that. I'm just looking forward to dinner guys. Honestly, I've been looking up all like food and stuff like that that I will be eating. But I've been telling my parents like I'm gonna need some serious restraint or else my Grubhub bill is about to be insane. And I don't want it to be insane because I need to not go broke over food. Then I need an air diffuser. He's trying to say, he's trying to say the air around me is bad. You did, you did. You're the only one that has used my bathroom so far. You're the only one, literally, you're the only one. we walked in Literally, I walked in there and I peed. I literally walked in there. I've never even peed in my bathroom before. He peed in my own bathroom for the first time and I didn't even get to initiate my toilet. We have secured the mattress. We got this queen and then we got a twin. We ended up getting it from Target because the ones at Bed Bath & Beyond were way too expensive, but Target had a good deal for them and they were like right across the street, so it was fine. And now we're gonna get this. Quickly go get some food because we have realized that we are no longer in New York City and things close at like nine o'clock. So we need to be able to get dinner and it's about to be like 7.30. And no, it is past 7.30, it's about to be eight. You told me how to do this in, uh, in uh, I, I will not be following this trick, but let's see. Okay. That was that was so unnecessary. That was so unnecessary. Think I replace letting go of you. What's my one mistake? Counting every day. No, I'm not okay. I just wanna say I need a face. be like having to figure out this lighting situation for like vlogging in the night we're back in the apartment we finished eating dinner basically we were just kind of like unloading we didn't really even get that much stuff i mean in here we got which one is the hallway this one okay so in here here are all the you know boxes we didn't really get to assemble any of like the bed or the dresser or anything like that that's probably gonna happen in august when i come back and i'm like putting everything together and like decorating and doing all that stuff and then what i really did was like i mean not really did it wasn't that deep but i brought some of my winter shoes just so that i don't have to do that in august and then this is more Ikea stuff. And then we got the blow-up mattresses ready. This is my blow-up mattress and it's like a twin. So it fits perfectly in the size of like what my actual bed will be. Like this will be the actual size of my bed. And then I was just putting the dishes and stuff in there because I didn't want to put it up there because they're dirty. But we don't have soap yet. So I just figured I would put them in there so that I don't ever think that they're clean when they're not actually clean. And then we kind of just like put random stuff. Like I have some mason jars in there. I have some canola oil, honey, and vitamin C in here. Kind of really random. We I haven't really organized anything because that will all happen in August when like everything and like all my groceries and stuff like that is ready in here. Nothing very decorative is happening right now. Right now was just basically like the basics of the apartment. I wanted to map out everything because I wanted to see the size. Good morning. It's the next morning. It's Sunday. Happy July 4th. I know you're not watching this on July 4th, but it's currently July 4th. And it's like 7 o'clock right now. My parents just went for their run, and I'm waiting for them to come back so that I can go to the gym. I have on my workout clothes. I have on this bonnet just because I still have the same braids in for my hair that I had in yesterday, and I'm just not vibing with that. I'm not vibing with it. I have them in so that I can do a braid out, and I'm supposed to take them out today so that my hair could be like braided out. So I'm gonna take them out today. But for the meantime, this is on vlog. 
vlogging. But anyways, I really wanted to turn on the camera to show you guys my pure joy for this morning sunrise. So of course I can't show you sunrise in the window, but just look at how much light it's coming in like I it's not even focusing on me like I need to bring it this way like I have to squint in my own apartment it is so bright in here the Sun is literally going crazy the content that's gonna be created in this apartment I'm just here for it I am excited for it and I'm here for it now I'm just imagining smoothie bowl in the morning on the countertop with the sunrise just like this that piqued my excitement. I woke up this morning. My parents were sort of complaining about like the noise because I am on like a busier street. So my parents were complaining about like the noise because there was a lot of parties going on. But I honestly don't care about noise. I actually prefer noise because when people are like rowdy outside, it radiates like white noise vibes to me. I don't know, like for some reason I just fall asleep faster when there's like a lot of noise and honking. Whenever I'm home, I always need to put on like either lo-fi or manifestation frequencies to fall asleep. Because is when I'm falling asleep in dead silence, I fall into a deep abyss of thoughts in my own head that I can't escape from. And then that's like an hour of me overthinking things in my sleep. I like the noise because I'm a weirdo. I slept great. I slept fine on my little blow up mattress. I need to be able to find my desk. So basically I wanted the Alex desk from Ikea, but at the Ikea in Maryland, it was sold out. So I probably need to look it up on the website and see if they have the Alex desk in New York because then I'll probably just pick it up in New York or get it delivered here that could also be an option I need to find a small round white dining table like genuinely super small like it literally needs to be like kid size like so tiny I was gonna put two chairs but it's really looking like I'm just gonna put one chair because I really have no space in here oh I also need to get my TV and stuff like that I mean that's not a major priority for me just because I don't have cable anyways like I don't use cable so the TV will really just be like a monitor for me to project YouTube onto because like I like to have YouTube in the background of everything that I do and then once all that stuff is done then it's all like little decorative stuff I think I'm gonna do LED lights again like I want to do LED lights let me show you LED lights all along this wall right here because like that's the only like flat wall and I think that that would be a cool vibe because then at the nighttime it'll add like a nicer ambiance and then it also adds like an extra amount of brightness and I might not need to get a lamp because right Right now, I probably need to get a lamp. I mean, I probably still will need to get a lamp, but I don't know. I need to map up how I'm gonna do my photo wall, and I need to think of how I'm gonna do that. I'll enter some pictures of my inspo for my photo wall. I don't know if I want it to be on like this main wall over here, or I'm really thinking of putting it on my back wall by my bed and doing it above my bed, and then figuring out something else for this main wall behind the TV. My vision for this apartment is just a Pinterest board. Like, I just want everything to look like a Pinterest board, so. I feel like decorative stuff is gonna be the hardest thing for me, but also the most fun. Like I'm genuinely really excited to decorate. And then I need to figure out how I'm going to decorate the bathroom. So let's move into the bathroom. Decorating the bathroom is gonna be a little bit interesting just because I think I'm definitely gonna get like an organizer. I need like a toothbrush holder. I was thinking about it this morning and I was like, what if I get like a little chair, like a little stool and like put it in the corner by my toilet, which might be a little gross, but I don't know. And then that way, if I need to sit down in my bathroom and like do something like I can still sit down and do stuff in my bathroom and then for the shower I definitely need to get like a shower organizer type thing either to go in it or to go like right here so I can just reach to the side but I think I want it to go in it just because that's more practical I mean it honestly doesn't need to be that big because I mean the main things I need are my Curology washes my Shea Moisture hair products and honestly I only really have two Shea Moisture products that are always on deck yeah I'm so excited now like honestly just this day like we were only here for one day we were just here for full Saturday and yesterday genuinely made me so excited to come to DC and so excited to move in here I'm excited to stop filming in my bedroom in that same one angle with my mirror in the background on my desk getting ready every morning Like I'm excited to have a new place to get ready every morning. I hope you guys are excited for 
all the content that's coming and for this new journey like i'm gonna be counting down the days i'm moving to dc the week of like the second week of august i think we're moving down here technically i have three more weeks left because for one week out of july i'm in la so that doesn't really count because i can't really get stuff together in la because i'll be in la and that's like vacation so technically i have three weeks until i oh no, no 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 four because then i have the first week of august to also do like final stuff four weeks until until i don't live in new york anymore I'm just gonna be so ho. Like, I'm gonna be so ho so much. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let me finish getting ready so I can do this workout and then we can get out of here. I have a feeling like, like I don't want to leave. Like, I do not want to leave this apartment. Like, I feel happy in this apartment. Ugh. I, ugh. I feel like I'm getting too sentimental, too sticky. Eh. I just, I'm mm, cutting it off. Cutting it off. Showing too much emotion. 